Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Dr. Retro's Video Game Finds. And we start off this week with a find that was from last week. This is uh, some remnant from King's Day last week. And this was picked up by my friend. And um, I didn't get it at the day that I shot the last video, so I got it now. It's a GameCube with a set of games. Um, Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, FIFA 90... no, not 95, 2005. 007 Nightfire, Call of Duty Finest Hour, Zapper... FIFA 06, Pokemon Colosseum, FIFA Street, and this is for the PS2, Castlevania Curse of Darkness. There was also some GameCube games in uh, a protector without the boxes. Lord of the Rings, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, but it's just disc 1, there's no disc 2 anywhere here. So, yeah, bit sad, but if anyone needs to complete his or uh, replace a broken disc 1, that's a nice, uh, nice replacement. Mario Kart Double Dash. Mario Party 5, another Lord of the Rings game, and that was it. So it also came with a GameCube and one, two, three, three controllers. I did a small trade this week and this is what I got in return for a couple of Game Boy and SNES games. Eric Cantona, football, Power Pigs of the Darm Age, these were actually thrown in because it was about this Zelda, this Zelda, Kirby's Dreamland. Super Mario Advance, and also the other Zelda that I forgot to put in the shot, which is this Zelda, the Wind Waker Limited Edition with the bonus disc. And I got this one for free as well. Cartridge tray by Joy Plus by STD. STD? Sexual Transmitted Disease? Great company name. Also a seventh guest for the CDI. It's been quite a while since I've picked up some decent NES games, or at least that's how I remember it, but this time I did get some decent games. Banana Prince, which is a PAL only quite rare wanted title. Same goes for Gargoyles Quest 2. Unfortunately there's someone's name in there. Hansa Stott. Oh, so it's probably an ex-rental. Super Mario Bros. 2, The Adventures of Bio Billy, Mario Duck Hunt, Mario Duck Hunt, uh, Flintstones, Mission Impossible complete in box, Double Dragon complete in box, Shockwave sealed, wow. You can buy those by the kilo, sealed. Super Mario Bros. 3, Low G Man, Adventures in the Magic Kingdom, Cleaning Kit, and Gremlins 2, the new batch, which is quite a good platforming game in my opinion. No, not platforming, action game. I've been laying low on the PC big boxes these last few weeks because it. Frankly, I just have too many of them. I have, I think, about 30 banana boxes full of spare big box games. And you can imagine that takes up quite some space. But when I saw these, I couldn't pass on. Uh, Planescape Torment, Carmageddon Part 2, Carpocalypse Now, Quake 2, and Dungeon Master 2, The Legend of Skull Key. A small pile of games, but at the bottom is something very, very extraordinary. This is Pokemon Ruby, empty box, emerald, also empty. Then the Pokemon Special Edition Game Boy Color. I didn't have this in my collection, so I love Pokemon, I love Game Boy. Added. Then we have Clock Tower for the PlayStation 1, which is a German version. Uh, bought this for my... Um, I go to German conventions and that's a place where I can trade or sell this well. And then this is something really exceptional. For my American viewers, you're probably thinking, why in the world is this exceptional? Well, the PAL European GameCube version of this game is really, really, really rare. Probably the number one rare on the GameCube. Not Mario Superstars Baseball or whatever it's called. Um, not Chibi Robo, not Metal Gear, not Tales of Symphonia. This is it. This is the rarest game. Also not Gotcha Force. Teen Titans, so be on the lookout for that one if you're in Paul country, because finding this one can be very hard. We've had the regular stuff, the Nintendo, the PC, the PlayStation, etc. Now it's time for some oddball stuff. This is a Tisch LCD Spiel, which means tabletop, and it's 
tennis. I haven't seen the manufacturer yet. Hartung. I hadn't seen this before. I bought up someone's collection of strange stuff and this is the first thing. Let's get to the next. The next one is the Tandy Electronic TV Scoreboard and just look at this. This thing looks so strange. The box is in quite shabby condition but what would you expect from something this old? Oh I see the seller also shipped a big LCD pinball from Tandy. He hid it in the same box. Let me show that controller for you. Here, just look at this. This is the game and the right player all in one. So you're basically holding your console and there's also a gun there that's not advertised on the box or at least not on the front of the box. That is some strange stuff. I love it. I love this strange old early 80s, late 70s uh, console stuff. This is the Zanussi Ping Otronic. And just tell me, have you ever seen anything that looks more, that screams the 70s to you? With this bright orange and yeah, ugly white. This just, this looks like, it, it could be your stove. That's, that's all I have to say about it, this could be your stove. There's two controllers here, a black one and an orange one. Like any other ping pong console, the controllers are usually really odd, oddly shaped. And this thing is quite heavy. I'd say it's at least one and a half, two kilograms. So that's quite heavy for an old pong console, which are usually very light because there's hardly any hardware in there. By the way, at the end of this video, my number one find of this week is just a box. There's nothing in it. And it's still my number one find of this week. So you can start imagining or wondering what it is. Because that's a damn rare box if just a box is enough to be the top find. Then we have the sensational new Moss Tone Hideaway TV game. And this uses the same concept as the one I showed earlier, that big one. The right player is the console. So you could connect it and hide away the, yeah, the controllers and the console. So you could always pick it up and play and not have it in sight. This, yeah. Come on, how can you not love this if you love retro video games? The back of the box is yeah, pretty much the same, so that doesn't give us any extra information. But I might do an unboxing of this one, because it's 100% complete and it looks amazing. This is the TV game, or TV Spell. Which is a quite a common console, because you could get it with uh, ABN AMRO bank account at some point. But this is the version without the ABN uh, branding, and it doesn't even say a manufacturer anywhere on the box. That's quite odd. Not sure if it should come originally with an outer box so you could see who made it or who added it as a gift to something. But yeah, it's a small Pong console that pretty much does what every other Pong, co pong console does, play Pong. Enough with the Pong consoles yet. Well, sorry, I have one more. This is the, yeah, what is it called? TV Game 6 in 1. But I don't see a brand anywhere on the box, but that's probably because of the duct tape as well. Um, the special thing about this one is that it comes with a gun. It has your average Pong games, football squash, training tennis, but also straight line target and moving target that you can use your um, gun with. Also strange that TV on a stand there. Let's see if we can get the gun out, probably in here. There we have it. Take a look at how cool that looks. If you had this as a kid in the 70s, you were the bomb. You were the man in school. And now I'm that kid, right? We've reached the last item of this week. And like I said, it's something very special and it's only a box. It's a box I've been looking for for, I think, two, three, maybe four years. And it's one of those examples why I keep telling you guys, buy stuff that isn't complete, that you want really bad. Because I already have two of the four parts that complete this set, so I'm now just missing one part. The part I already have is the game, and also the pin that's supposed to come with this. The part I'm missing is the t-shirt, but the hardest part to find in good condition and for a good price is the box. Resident Evil 2, the special edition. Only released in Germany for the PlayStation 1. And I can't 
yeah, I can really easily explain this to you guys why it's so uh, expensive because it's Resident Evil and it's a limited edition, it's PlayStation and it's damn rare. Usually complete these sell for about, I'd say 200 to 250 depending on who sees it and uh, uh, the condition and I bought this loose box for 50 euros. I already have the game, I already have the pin that I bought for I think 5 or 6 euros. So now I'm just missing the t-shirt to have this one of the last PlayStation 1 limited editions that I was still missing. Really happy to have this and like I said it's just a cardboard box but a collector is happy with a cardboard box. So that was it for this week, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, like me on facebook.com slash drretromd and subscribe to the channel. See you next time, bye bye.